welcome back to the shed. For those of you who follow my channel, you will be familiar with my original wigwag engine, and you may also have seen my half size wigwag engine, the micro wigwag, that I built about 18 months ago, which is a beautiful mini version of the engine design. Well, I thought I would challenge myself and my eyesight with another downsizing, and I have built this one quarter scale engine, which I have called the Wigwag Nano. The engine stands at a height of just 40 millimeters from the base, or approximately one and a half inches and has been made almost entirely of brass stock. The chassis is a 3 16 inch thick piece and the cylinder is a quarter inch on the narrow dimension. The cylinder is attached with an M2 socket head machine screw and I even managed to find a tiny conical spring for the tensioner which is in keeping with the original design. The piston, which is tiny, was turned in one piece from 4mm ground silver steel to suit the 4mm reamed cylinder bore and a 2mm hole drilled out for the connection pin. As you can probably see that the hole isn't perfectly central, which was of course a special design feature introduced after choosing the wrong powered specs when marking out. The hole for the pivot rod is 2.2mm and the portholes were drilled at 1mm to a depth of half the brass stock to intercept with the supply and exhaust tubes. The crank disc is 10mm diameter and 3mm thick and with a 2mm steel crank pin offset at 3.5mm to connect the piston conrod. The flywheel is 18mm or just under 3 quarters of an inch and 5mm wide. The crankshaft was made from 3mm silver steel stock and this runs inside a 6mm bronze bushing fitted through the engine chassis. The engine was then fixed to a small brass base with M3 screws from the underside. The piston top cap was machined to be a light press fit into the 4mm bore and thread lock was used to ensure an airtight seal. It certainly is a very adorable little engine but I wasn't 100% sure that it would actually run successfully before it had been tested, but I was pleased to find that it actually runs quite nicely. It runs fast when compared to the bigger engines and it walks around the bench at higher speeds due to the vibration but when I get it running at a slower speed it stabilises itself nicely.
This little nano wigwag is a lovely addition to the wigwag family and complements the micro and the original wigwag very nicely and it's good to see this little quarter scale model with its bigger brothers and sisters. Naturally, the scale change also affects the speed that the engine can run. Just like the heartbeat of a shrew compared to a blue whale, the nano wigwag has to rotate much faster than the micro, and the micro in turn faster than the original wigwag. I guess this is simply down to flywheel momentum, and the smaller this is, the faster it needs to turn to have enough energy to empty the returning cylinders. Well, the Nano was a fun build. It was challenging to both my eyesight and my machining skills at such tiny dimensions, but I'm very pleased with the result. Of course, I'd love to see a 1 8 scale version, but I for one will not be setting myself that challenge anytime soon. Thanks for watching. <laughs>